Hey folks, you ready for some good news? First up, researchers at MIT have built a device capable of producing water out of thin air. Really. Dehumidifiers, which condense water from humid air, are nothing new. For many folks living in houses with basements, they're standard equipment. But this device is different. It's called the Water Harvester, and it produces water not from humidity, but from dry air. The Water Harvester uses a material developed at UC Berkeley called a Metal Organic Framework, or MOF, which is able to capture molecules of water vapor. The water is then drawn to a condenser underneath and collected as liquid. The harvester can pull water from air with as little as 20% humidity and is more energy efficient than currently available dehumidifiers because it runs entirely on solar energy. In the future, devices like these could provide households with their own renewable independent water supplies, which would be especially valuable to people living in areas without easy access to more conventional sources of clean water. The paper on the Water Harvester is published in the journal Science. Next up, engineers at Northwestern University have developed a new form of 3D printing that can produce objects out of lunar and Martian materials. If humans ever colonize other worlds, they'll need to manufacture tools and building materials from the available natural resources. Though such undertakings are still decades away at the soonest, that manufacturing technology now exists, thanks in part to Professor Ramil Shah and the Tissue Engineering and Additive Manufacturing, or TEAM, lab, which she leads at Northwestern's McCormick School of Engineering. Shaw and her associates have created special 3D printing inks using simulations of lunar and Martian dust, the same raw materials astronauts would have available on the Moon and Mars. The main breakthrough here is in the formulation of these inks. Once that's done, the manufacturing process is similar to other forms of 3D printing. After printing is complete, the lunar and Martian dust hardens into a flexible rubber-like material, which can then be fired to harden it into something like a ceramic object if desired. Space travelers of the future could owe quite a bit to Professor Shaw and her colleagues at the Team Lab. This research is published in Scientific Reports. And finally, speaking of space exploration, last week astronomers revealed some new details about one of the most distant objects in our solar system. The object is officially designated 2014 UZ224, though its nickname is Didi. Didi circles the Sun at a distance three times that of Pluto, making it the second farthest known object in the solar system. It's approximately 13 light hours from Earth, and it takes over a thousand years to complete a single orbit around the Sun. Didi was first observed a few years ago, but not much has been known about it. We now know a little more thanks to newly released observations taken using the ALMA Observatory. We know how large Didi is, approximately 635 kilometers in diameter, which should be large enough for it to exhibit hydrostatic equilibrium, which would mean Didi is spherical in shape and therefore eligible to be considered a dwarf planet. There are potentially thousands of similar objects yet to be discovered orbiting on the extreme edge of the Sun's gravitational influence. Studying them could tell us valuable details about the formation of our solar system, including our own planet. The new findings about Didi are published in Astrophysical Journal Letters. A new device can harvest water out of dry air. A new 3D printing technique can manufacture materials out of lunar and Martian dust. And astronomers reveal new details about one of the most distant objects in the solar system. That's the good news. Hey folks, one more thing before I go. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. 
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. She slept through the entire thing, I think, didn't she? She doesn't know what she's missing.